had a problem today with um, the get orientation function on the iPhone simulator <clears throat> using JQ Touch, and I wanted to uh, let everybody know about that because I think it's a glitch in the iPhone simulator. Um, here's a simple JQ Touch page that I'll just launch like this, show to you. All right, so all this page is doing is giving us the orientation, the current orientation, JQ Touch returns profile, which really should be portrait, but you get the idea, profile. And it gives us the width and the height. And just for the record, I'm using JQ Touch revision 109, which is the download from the jqtouch.com website. It's not the most recent version in the repo. So anyway, if I rotate the uh, um, simulator, you see that the orientation changes to landscape, which makes sense because the width is greater than the height. And if I switch it back, it switches back to portrait because the width is less than the height. All right, so that's all hunky-dory. Now what I'm going to do is turn on the debug console in Safari. And this is a very useful thing to do if you uh, don't normally use it. So now what I'm going to do, oh, well, right away you can see the problem. I'm in portrait mode, but the orientation is landscape, even though the width is less than the height. Right? So this should say, uh, it should say profile, a.k.a. portrait, uh, but it doesn't. So if I rotate the phone, it still says landscape. You can see the width is greater than the height, so that is correct. And if I switch it back, you can see it still says landscape, even though the width, let's see, and the width is greater than the height. So we've got really two problems here. On first page load, it says landscape, and the width is less than the height. So it really, really shouldn't say landscape here because you can see from this calculation that, that it's, it's silly. And then when we rotate it, oh, wait. When we rotate it, <clears throat> it still says landscape when it's in portrait mode, but at least this time, the width and height values do indicate landscape. It, the width is greater than the height, even though you can see we're in portrait mode. Um, just to complicate matters, if we scroll up and rotate, the orientation is correct, profile aka portrait, and the width is 320 and the height is 416. So that's pretty wacky and I spent a good bit of the day sort of getting to where I'm at right now. Uh, what I think is going on is this. The debug console apparently takes up space uh, away, takes space away from the uh, window inner height if it's scrolled on the screen. If it's not scrolled on the screen, then it doesn't take away the height. That's one thing. The other thing is the debug console bar seems to only take up space after document load has been completed. And the window inner height and inner width are calculated by JQ Touch before the document finishes loading. So when I first come to the page, uh, I believe that explains why we're getting this issue here where you've got orientation landscape, which is wrong because of the you can see because of the orientation of the phone, plus it's wrong because the width and height numbers uh, indicate portrait because the width is less than the height. So anyway, the bottom line is if you're having landscape, uh, portrait landscape issues with JQ Touch in the simulator, um, you might want to turn off the debug console. So long story short, uh, sorry to drag that out. Hope that helps someone.